Yeah. Although I gotta kill these buggers, because I hate cockroaches. It was just, they disgust me, they're absolutely, do you hate cockroaches, Lizzie? They're disgusting, aren't they? So what I did, I went and bought eight cockroach bombs, and I strapped them to my chest and ran around the house as a suicide bomber. <laughs> I'm running around the house and the gas is getting in here. I was like, oh, this is freaking me out. I looked at one of the cans and said, make more hallucinations. I thought, bloody hell. So I jumped on a zebra and I got the hell out of there. <laughs> oh. My flatmate had a go at me. She's like, all this crazy stuff. We need to get into the vitamin tablets. We need to get healthy. None of you came to see McDonald's. Well, they came, right? So we went down the shop. We bought some vitamin tablets. Just some little multivitamins. And they're all in these little brown bowls. And they all look the same. I didn't realise... I accidentally mixed up the bottles of being taken women's vitamins for like a month. I said, don't me. I really started freaking out. I thought, like, hang on a sec. It's only vitamins. And so to take my mind off it, I went and got a facial. <laughs> I need to go to the toilet, so I rang up all my mates to see if they wanted to come. I couldn't wait to get home and tell her about the vitamins. I said, you know those tablets? She said, shut up, I'm watching the football. <laughs> Fair enough. And uh, uh, she's into this pole dancing. You know, pole dancing. You look like a bit of a pole dancer. What's your name? <laughs> Emily. Oh, yeah. Did you, did you, who do you work for, Emily? Qantas. Oh, right. They're the sponsor. No more questions. Uh, okay. That's cool. That's cool. Actually, uh, actually, I'll tell you a story. Uh, you might like this story. I have a friend, right, who's a DJ. And I went to see him the other night. And I, can't, I remember thinking, he had all this equipment in front of him. He had like turntables, knobs, switches, lights. This was, it looked, there was an enormous amount of stuff. It looked like the cockpit of a plane. I thought, how cool would it be if he actually was a pilot? You know what I mean? He could just be sitting up in the cockpit. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. This is your captain. This is your, this is your, this is your, this is your. This is your. <laughs> But the lock, if the light is on, but I'll switch it off now so you can dance along. As I rock the mic, I'll just allow an hour of flight. I wrap my damn and hammer, try to jump the light, and catch the light, and I'll just be sure to hit the foot. I just sit back and have a drink and sometimes a smoke. The flight attendants just around and kiss me goodnight. I gotta go to hit the movie and enjoy the flight. Put up your hand, it's just an easy question, it's not going to be embarrassing or anything like that. Is there anybody in the room who's, uh, who's tried on a bra? <laughs> yeah, the bloke over there. Yeah. A very honest man. Um, that's, you work at Qantas as well, mate? <laughs> that's why he's not at the front table. Put the sick man at the back. Put the sick guy at the back of the room, he's not representing us. Uh, I did try on a, I did try on a bra one time, and uh, I went to the top drawer. It was my girlfriend. She wasn't home. I thought, oh, you've got to go on your own. I pulled out the, the bra. I get naked again. It seems to be. Uh, and uh, I put this bra on, and it straps around the back. I managed to hook it. It's like the third hook, and I'm standing there, right, looking at myself in this full-length, like ceiling-to-floor mirror, totally stark, except except for the bra. Looking at myself, thinking, "Gee, this is weird. <laughs> Better put the panties on as well." <laughs> I don't mind what your religious background is, but we will never have Ramadan. You know that day? We're not allowed to eat for like 30 days. We're the second fattest country in the world. If we were forced to have something like that, we'd reverse it, have a 30 day all you can eat, call it Ramadan. <laughs> 30 days off work, your boss rings, where are you? Shut up, man, it's Ramadan. Thank you for having me. My name's Good night. Thank you. Bye.